stand for the invocation by Mr. Miller and then join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to our flag. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the state you have given us, Lord. Thank you most especially for this opportunity for us to assemble here this evening and conduct our business on behalf of our citizens, Lord. We ask that you bless us during these proceedings. Lord, bless our city and each of our citizens, police officers, firefighters, and each city employee. Keep them safe and out of harm's way, Lord. We ask you to forgive us for what we fail. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First item that we have on our agenda is the approval of uh, the agenda. Anybody see anything that uh, needs to be amended? If not, I, I'm looking for a motion to approve it. Excuse me, I would like to add uh, number two under new business and on action. Uh, the topic would be clean the city uh, competition. New business and on action. Mm -hmm. Next item on the agenda is our guest and audience participation. Do we have any guests um, or in the audience that would like to have any comments? Okay, we'll move right along. Uh, the next item is old business action items, uh, condemnation. Uh, Mrs. Jones. Um, we have uh, 305 North St. John Street that. Um I, I know they said they were going to be here this evening. I didn't speak to Ms. Phillips this afternoon. Um, there, we had given her, well, you know, six months to um, get the house up to par. Um, they, within the last couple of months, have done a considerable amount of work. Um, once again, um, we've got the photos here. It's, um, they've put up, the, done all the prep to put new siding on. They've finished the roof. They've installed windows, doors, and boarded up any areas that were accessible from outside. Um, they were requesting today that they be given some more time. Um, I asked them to please be at this meeting, and they said they would. I'm uh, pretty disappointed that they're not. Um, so I'd like to talk to them about that. But I did say I would speak on their behalf because of their effort and see if we could give them a little bit more time. Um, but I don't feel like we need to do what we did last time. I think six months was too long because, I mean, so many things happened in six months, and I know the weather was a problem. I'm thinking if, um, if, if my, my feeling would be to give them 60 more days to see if they can get enough accomplished that it's acceptable that we do not proceed. But at, at, after the 60 days, we're going to have to make a decision. So they also need to decide whether or not we're going to put more money into this. So um, that, that would be my that would be what I would, you know, think would be fair without yeah. going, it's, it, yeah, it's definitely more than fair. I think six months, I'm um, not sure, I don't believe, I don't think they've had it up to that point yet. So that's, that's where I stand on that. I, I'm, I'm assuming that I can move, that we can give them 60 more days, and after the end of 60 days, that they can either, you know. Plumbing, mm -hmm. water. Sewage, all this stuff hooked up to us? Mm -hmm. I don't believe so. Not that I know of. I don't think anything's turned on just yet. You know, I, I, might, I could be wrong because uh, they've done a lot of work. 
children are you in the user? If they turn, I think there was electricity to the house if they actually had it, I don't know if they had it cut back on. There's yet. no service in any of these pictures. When you go look, there's no uh, weatherhead or service uh, meter. Um, well, I don't believe to the house at all. And uh, my concern is there. Interior of the house is um, they're just making some cosmetic improvements on the outside, and how long will this drag on and on and on? If uh, have we given them six months? Six months ago, we gave them six months. No, we gave them six months, six months ago, and before that, we don't give them some kind of they give 30 days well they have to have the exterior of the house <coughs> finished in 30 days or do they have to have at the rate they're going they'll never finish that's what i was thinking that if, if at 30 30 days they have to have the exterior of the house Yeah, I really have a house, you know, like, mm -hmm. 
or, or what, that it'll be inhabitable or usable as far as um, what the exterior looks like. So now, this silver stuff that's up all over, if y'all were planning to put the siding up right. in front of that, okay, how long do you think it'll take before y'all have that done? Really, you gotta get some more yeah, take a while to work and save up your checks and stuff right. like that in order to get that. Yeah, that's what I was right. That's where it went. Now, on the side, and then the inside, and done the foundation, all the inside, and redone the floor, and now we're going to space and we're going to start working on the outside again. But right now, we've been working on the inside. Be doing the floors and put the foundation back down and got it where you can go all the way through it. Right. Right. And we can sell it for the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So, are you, you know, uh, you're supposed to be, uh, I think, uh, isn't uh, the house supposed to be inspected uh, or the, uh, by the, what's the Louisiana statute they passed after Hurricane Katrina? Yeah, we don't have anybody inspected it. That's the problem. They, they, you know, they passed it and we passed it here in Winfield. We contracted with the uh, <coughs> Sachi Delta to do, to do the inspections. And I guess they went out of business. I don't know, I don't know who does it anymore. John I don't Lewis have anybody that I know of that, that does inspections for them. So I don't see how they're going to take it. I don't know about that. Johnny White was the last one and he worked right. for Sachi Delta. I'm based on what John White had told us about if you've got a career people got to wear the windows are closed up, the doors are closed up, the roof is good, started working on the foundation solid, then, you know, that was what I based this on. If you're at that point, then we just need to do more. So we're all sitting around, we're sitting around, and we can touch everything, you know. Mm -hmm. So now I just, I get a little more money, and go back in there again, and mm -hmm. start doing some more stuff. I gotta buy some more sheep rock. We're getting ready to do sheep rock, you know, so, working on it. Mr. Fellow, how much of the uh, floor you got to know? All of it. Just a circle. Right. And then I'm going to put another top in there so I can tie a little rug in the well. So right and now, that circle will even go all the way through. What yeah. is your intention? What are you going to do with the house when you finish it? Do you plan on living there someday or selling it or renting it? Or it you just don't know? You just want to finish it? You got your right. money there. How much you spent so far? Right. Yeah, that's a moment. Okay, so so like so all of this, all of this that needs to be done, is this because y'all found the house to be condemned? I mean, as far as inspections and all of that stuff, because there are a lot of houses around Winfield that are worse. I mean, that house looks really, really bad. And he's put a roof on there. He's done a lot of work. His doors and windows and everything is sealed in and stuff like that. The house right next door to it. I mean, it might not be condemned, but it's an eyesore to us because it's stuff everywhere. I mean, I'm just wondering. I mean, that comes up every time we do like, to anyone's house that does do condemnation. We do a condemnation. Mm -hmm. They want to know why we're not doing it to other ones, but we are. It just takes a long time, like them giving y'all time and everything else before we actually tear one down. Because we are trying to give you give you some time to get it together. Um, but what is together? What's what's going to be it's, it's together so enough? Hard. For us not to have to keep coming. I guess up. for it not to be, you know, what anyone would think of. You think of the one next to you as an eyesore. Well, it's yours when it was condemned because mm -hmm. it was condemned, unfortunately, right about the same time it was given or done right. to you, right. which was unfortunate. That made it your problem. Right. So that's why we're trying to give you time because you didn't know that at the time that you accepted that donation. Right, but I didn't know everything right now. And I, right but that's right why I'm trying to give you more time right now. Um, but what is it more time for? Just the siding? I would or? think right now at this point, if you could get some of the siding done, the cosmetics of what people drive by and look at, and look and call us and go, why is that house still there? Even though you condemned it, you know, we can say, well, you know, if you look, they're, they're fixing it. Well, my uncle's was coming in the middle I got to mm -hmm. get some money up. Pay for the side. You know what I'm saying? Because he got his own little lumber thing where he got a meal. And he made his own stuff. You know, they had cedar there. Mm -hmm. So I was going to try to go back to the board like it was, like it was before. And he got to do it, but I got to get some money to pay him because he made the board, but I got to be able to pay him to put him up. I guess my thing is, I appreciate the fact that you're trying to fix it. 
did something that was awful. And you've made it where it's not awful. And I'm just trying to get to a point that we have to, because of the fact that it was already condemned, we have to give you some kind of time frame where you know maybe you will be at that point where it, at least, even though the inside may not be done, at least the outside looks like it's done. That's what I'm trying okay. to do the outside, but at the same time, when you're doing the roof, you got to do the floor with the roof. Oh, yeah. The floor holds the roof. So, you know, you've got to jack the that floor and do the foundation at the same time and make the roof break. So it's like three in one. So I've been doing yeah. three in one. Yeah. I guess my point is, it sounds like you're trying to do it the right way, but not the best way. Right. And I just, I was recommending that, you know, I was, before y'all got here, I was trying to recommend at least 60 more days to see where you are in 60 days to see if you've got to a point where, you know, we can look at it and go, okay, we still move. Oh, okay. I just don't understand. <clears throat> because there are several other houses in Wynn Parish that look worse than what he's done to this one house. And it's like, I mean, we're not rich people, and even if we do put the sign up, 60 days isn't gonna be enough time. Six months might not be enough time. We just, we, income tax, did all of this. And, I mean, we working people. <laughs> We uh, work with people. people. Yeah, I, don't know, I don't know. We don't have it right now. And it's like we never get pushed. We don't do that. Right, right, you know? And that's I think that's some of the concern is that this would go on. And we're we're tearing down houses, uh, one house at a time in the city. Houses that are in deplorable condition. This house had been abandoned in this condemnation process started and then y'all got it no need to use right in the middle of that. Right. And uh, but uh, we're working on other properties each as as we go along and uh, it cost us money to tear the houses down. So is it because we're trying to fix the house is why we have to keep coming to meetings. Is, is that what it is? Yeah, if you weren't trying to fix it, we weren't trying to fix it. We've already torn it down. That's the, that's y'all, y'all are doing what you're, the right thing. But coming to meetings every time we can run out, you know, you get to a time frame for it, and we're you know, six months, it's been six months, you come to meet, we look and see where we are. That's when, you know, you basically give us your side of the story of where you are on it, and we look at it and we decide whether or not, you know, to extend any more time or to follow through. Well, I'm gonna get with him on the um, attorney fees. Exactly how much he's gonna charge me to try to do the front part and the side part, you know, and then try to work that out. Right now. Like that. It's very rich. I mean, that's what. That's basically what we want to do. Yeah, and we want to work with that like in the next three months. Maybe three months on that. I'm I'm fine with that because, like I said before before y'all were here, that I understand that it's uh, it's a lot of money and it's got to come from somewhere. Yeah, and it takes some time. Three months from there, I can yeah. try Because yeah. he'll be working at it, like, doing the first part, the front part, the first part, the front part, the front part, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, you keep trying to learn with it, you know, keep trying to learn with it, have it open, you know, it's like pay as you go. Sure. Yeah, no, no. You said three months, so. So if we ask you to come to the June meeting, would you be able to give us some updates? That's in two months. Well, Not be done, but just give us some updates on oh, where yeah, you're staying, okay. where you are, mm -hmm. and things like that. I mean, I hate that you have to come to meetings. I know that you know you have to stop whatever you're doing and come up, you know, six o'clock in the evening to find, you know. But that keeps us all on track, so we don't feel like that we're not doing you a disservice by thinking you know nothing's being done, and you're you know showing us. Know, what you've done, and we can at least appreciate that and look at it each time. Okay. And I, it, 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 it's, it's free to come to the meeting, so <laughs> yeah, that's I, the one thing that's not going to cost you anything. I got pictures play by play, play by play, and mm -hmm. everything I've been doing, I got pictures where I tore it up and I put it back, tore it up, put it back. I got play by play, mm -hmm. play by play. Mm -hmm. I painted the whole thing, you know. So you will see exactly what I'm doing. I got that on file. Play by play. It's just a whole, I mean, the whole file. Right. You know. right. and so we're saying give them two months to 
Well, I'd like, like, like to come to the meeting in two months and let us know where it stands, but I'm thinking give me 90 days to actually right, be able to show the progress. Let's go, let's go for the three months that we asked for. Mm -hmm. Give us two months to come back and show that's the progress. And you think that's reasonable for where we are right now to do that and then come back in two months to tell us about it? Three months would be we look pictures. Does that sound good? For now? And then we'll see where you are then and if it looks like there's enough progress and we feel like you're not getting it against the wall on this project, then you know, we you know see where we are there. Right, because I'm ready to start sheet rocking and go in and start doing cabinets and stuff on top and uh, I just mm -hmm. clean up the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going back and putting it back right, you know, you right. put it all the way out, put your pulls in, get everything right, and then you go back in and you put it back together. Because it was a somebody was working on it already, mm -hmm. and somebody started turning stuff off of it. It was somebody already redoing that. Right. And the new it off of it. So it's like all you got to do is put the puzzle back together. It's already what somebody was already doing, and somebody took advantage of it and was turning off the house.
the in, uh, residences. Um, if you have an outside water faucet and you have a water hose hooked to it and it's laying in a, say you're watering your horses or something back there in a, in a big water trough, um, and that could be pulled back into the system. There might be some kind of chemicals or something that had gotten in there. You're supposed to have a little device on your hose bed. Um, the city is responsible for this. Uh, believe me, it's not something that uh, will be, it will take a lot of paperwork and a lot of time, but it is, uh, it is a Louisiana statute, so we have to comply. And uh, that's why we're introducing the ordinance. The ordinance is modeled after other municipalities that already have this in place. And uh, so, it will, we have six months to get it fully implemented once we this ordinance goes into effect, which it goes into effect 30 days from now. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And then we will have six months uh, by, the, by the Department of Health and Hospitals to have uh, all the requirements of the ordinance in place. Yeah, we're going to do this for us. Well, we're going to uh, know we're going to be kind of doing it ourselves. Um, and we'll be sending out letters to all water customers. All of our water customers will receive a survey letter, and they will fill that out and send back to us. And then we will determine, go through that, and determine the potential contamination issues that we have. People with swimming pools, people with water uh, irrigation systems in their yard, uh, businesses, uh, hospitals, nursing homes, car washes, places like that that are using chemicals that could be sucked back into the system. And uh, then uh, that's just the first step. And then all of that is covered in this thick ordinance here. And then we have the option, if they do not comply, to cut their water off until they do comply. So hopefully everyone will comply. Um, that's everyone that has been picked up by the city itself. And we will be monitored by the Department of Health and Hospitals on all the paperwork and having that in order. And it will be up to us to enforce it. And uh, they will find the residents or the, uh, the individual customers, they will find us if they find it out of compliance. Well, Mayor, do we have uh, someone who's going to qualify to check and see how we're well, we, uh, these backflow preventers have to be checked annually, and that's the, the uh, customer's responsibility. And uh, they have to provide a certificate from a certified uh, technician that, that, that it was checked. And if they don't supply that, then we give them notice and we can cut the water off if we don't have it after a certain number of days until they get it. And the expense of that will go to the customers, not to us. The expense of putting the backflow preventers in is at the expense of the customers. Anybody not know how much that is? Approximately? I think it will, I do not know. Uh, it depends on how big the system is. The little things you can put on your outside water faucets you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot for about five or six dollars. If you are required to put a big one in for a two inch line or something, Several thousand dollars. That line, that, even if it's a two inch line, is going to be above ground, or they must go down and dig it up. And, uh, they have to dig down, but it, it comes up and does like this, it goes back in. And then you have to insulate it some way to keep it from freezing, it's part of it. And uh, you know, some, uh, to take the class, uh, so far that I've checked into, it will need to be some kind of, it looks like plumbers will be the ones that will be the certified technicians that will have the qualifications to do it. And if we don't have any locally, we'll have to go outside um, the uh, city of the parish and get them to come in, which will be more expensive. But there's, uh, we really don't have the choice. But we have to locate these plumbers that's not very manageable. We'll have a list at the at city hall. Yeah, we just said about this stuff. And uh, we'll provide that list to the customers, and we can put that list in with our mailings when we get ready for that. We'll have a lot of mailing expense alone. Uh, but uh, if we do not comply, 
in on us, we could be uh, we could be fined as a as a city for non-compliance. So that's what this ordinance is about: is to get this uh, this ball moving and uh, getting us in compliance on the uh, this cross connect program. So we have a motion and a second. Okay. Uh, do you have any public comment on this ordinance? Any questions? Any public comment? Okay. Appears to be none. We have a motion and a second to adopt this uh, cross connect ordinance. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Okay. Item number three is the introduction of ordinance three of 2015 obscenity ordinance. Mr. Miller. An ordinance to add section 1477 of the Code of Ordinances of the City of Winfield, Louisiana to provide for the crime of obscenity to provide for uh, penalties for violation thereof to provide an effective date therefore and to provide for other related matters. Please consider that introduced. Okay. Next item, introduction of Ordinance 4 of 2015. Is amending section 19.1, part 4, 19.1, part B. Ms. Junkin. Ordinance number 4 of 2015, an ordinance to amend section 19.1B of the Code of Ordinances of the City of Winfield to provide for a service charge for new meter installation of water meters within the City of Winfield, Louisiana, providing an effective date, therefore, and providing for other related matters. see up here uh, on item number one. We will need a motion on that uh, for uh, and a second that a citizen participation and citizen complaint procedure be adopted and Susan Kelly be appointed as the citizen complaint officer for compliance with the LCDBG program. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Miller, second by Ms. Memory. Chief elected official to proceed with the development of the LCEVG application 
taking into consideration views and proposals submitted by citizens that attended the public hearing, as well as those that were unable to attend and views of the governing body. Motion by Mr. Junkin. Mayor second. Second. Second by Ms. Demery. Um, all in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. We'll turn it over to your next page. Item number three. That a procurement policy be adopted for compliance with the LCDBG program. And I'll go ahead and say all of these are already in place that, um, that are put out by this program. We're just formally adopting them, is what we're doing. So we can apply. So we need a motion for this procurement policy. So moved. Motion by Mr. Miller. I need a second. Second by Mr. Edwards. All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. And item number four is on there, which is your item number eight on the agenda. Uh, he is authorizing the chief elected official to proceed with the procurement selection of professional services for the purpose of assisting in the development of the LCDBG application and implementation of the project. So, Motion by Mr. Miller. Second. Second by Ms. Junkie. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? That motion carries. Thank you. Okay. The next item on the agenda is the police department personnel, Chief Carpenter. Sorry, just walk back in. Chief Carpenter. Okay, LT, go take care of Okay. Lieutenant okay. Curry, you're up.
includes the chief. Yes, I have 15 full-time slots including these two positions. So whenever you've given us the number of police officers you have, you're, you're not eliminating the chief and the assistant chief. No, no. Why not? Because those are full-time police officer positions. That's why I come. If you look at the field, I'm looking at the field patrol officers. That's what I'm saying. Okay. How many patrol officers do I have? Eight. Okay. <laughs> yes, please. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. The next item up is new business, non-action. Um, item number one is uh, city business. <laughs>
guns up when they closed, but this particular knife that was left out in a glass case, so it was still busy for them to get to. They broke through the front door, didn't they? Right. I mean, they were right, right out the open. They were trying to hide, get in. Right. Can I ask something, Chief? For, uh, for speaking of juvenile offenders, we don't have anywhere here to house juvenile offenders, do we? No, we do not. And these juvenile offenders case, which that was a serious crime. Yeah, that's correct. Stealing firearms, and I don't know if they stole By, them by the fact, uh, the Where? ones that were arrested, and these two, had also had, was just less than a month been arrested on a couple more, but they broke into houses and taking guns, and were not able to place them anymore. Where? Not able to? We do not have a juvenile facility anywhere? They all, they either they pulled up or for some reason, uh, and then they're not just taking them from our parents. I think they have a, a district or whatever, and don't get the first chance. Uh, uh, Thanks, Regulator. Yeah. 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 State regulation. The judge can say, I'm going to put you in secure custody, okay, as part of the sentence of six months or whatever. And and the state then takes them and says, Well, we don't have a bed for them, so we're going to stay at home and put a monitor on. I mean, the state regulates all that. Once it gets to that point, you don't have a choice. But the judge, so the judge, the judge determines, and the judge determines to start with whether or not they either go to secure or they turn loose to their parents or whatever they do to begin with. That's correct? That's correct. So if they're at home, they would have a monitor on. Some, some of them some of them don't. Yeah. If they got monitors, they don't. The state runs out of monitors. Okay. Well, we so, have to, I'm just getting used. I like to get it on at least to tell the chief and this detective and staff that, you know, for me and y'all on the job. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, it's like they say, they all was right back to back and the whole department. I mean, everybody pitched in, worked together, and less than about 72 hours on all three of the cases, we had each one of so, them, but it was the whole department. Very good.
by Ms. Demery, second by Mr. Edwards. All in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you. I know you.